Imagine standing at the edge of a runway on a calm morning, the sound of engines echoing in the distance. Suddenly, you see it, a massive silver bird, towering above everything else. The ground begins to tremble as four giant engines unleash their power, and for a brief moment, time seems to slow down. The aircraft begins its graceful ascent, lifting hundreds of tons of metal and dreams into the sky. That aircraft is the Airbus A380, the largest, most ambitious passenger jet ever built. Once celebrated as the future of air travel, then nearly forgotten as airlines turn to smaller, more efficient jets, it's now making a spectacular comeback in 2025. But how did a plane once labeled as a failure return to conquer the skies again? Let's uncover the incredible story of how the Airbus A380 is rising from the ashes, stronger, smarter, and more loved than ever before. When Airbus first revealed the A380 in the early 2000s, the aviation world was stunned. This wasn't just another airplane, it was a declaration of human engineering at its finest. Airbus envisioned a future where megacities around the world would be connected by enormous aircraft capable of carrying more passengers than ever before. The concept was bold, reduce congestion at major airports by flying more people in fewer trips. Airlines and aviation fans saw it as a masterpiece of innovation. The A380's double-deck design, massive wingspan, and luxurious interiors made it a flying hotel in the sky. Its sheer size was awe-inspiring, 72 meters long, 24 meters tall, and capable of carrying more than 800 passengers in an all-economy configuration. It was the pinnacle of comfort and technology, with whisper-quiet engines and an interior experience unlike anything else. The first commercial A380 flight in 2007, operated by Singapore Airlines, was a global event. People lined up just to witness it take off. The media called it the gentle giant. Passengers on board couldn't stop praising its comfort, the silence in the cabin, and the smoothness of the flight. For the first time in aviation history, flying felt like something magical again. The A380 was not just transportation, it was an experience. Airlines quickly competed to introduce it into their fleets, Emirates, Qantas, Lufthansa, Air France, and British Airways all proudly added it as their flagship aircraft. Airbus had done the impossible. They had built the most advanced passenger plane the world had ever seen. But behind the applause and headlines, a quiet problem was brewing. The A380 was designed for a world that was changing faster than Airbus expected. Airlines were starting to move away from the traditional hub-to-hub -hub model, where massive jets carried thousands of people between major airports, toward point-to-point -point travel using smaller, more fuel-efficient planes like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. These newer jets could fly long distances with fewer passengers, lower fuel burn, and less operational cost. The A380, with its four engines and enormous structure, suddenly looked like an expensive luxury. Filling 500 or more seats on every route became difficult, especially as oil prices fluctuated. Even though passengers loved it, airline accountants didn't. Slowly, airlines began to cut back. Orders for new A380s dried up. By 2019, Airbus announced it would end production of the aircraft by 2021. Aviation enthusiasts mourned, and airports prepared to say goodbye to the giant that had redefined the skies. It felt like the end of an era, a dream too big for its time. The last few A380s rolled off the production line in Toulouse, France, with tears in the eyes of engineers who had dedicated their careers to building it. Then came the pandemic, and everything changed. The aviation industry was hit harder than ever before. Airports turned silent. Fleets were grounded, and airlines struggled to survive. The A380, already considered too large, was among the first to be retired. Many believed this was the final nail in its coffin. But as the world recovered and borders reopened, something unexpected happened. Air travel didn't just return, it exploded. Passenger demand surged far beyond forecasts, and airlines suddenly found themselves short on capacity. There simply weren't enough planes to meet the soaring demand for long-haul travel. This was when the A380 began to make its unlikely comeback. Emirates was the first to react. The Dubai-based carrier, already the largest operator of the A380, realized that no other plane could match its efficiency on high-demand routes. Bringing the A380s out of storage, Emirates upgraded them with new interiors, better fuel efficiency systems, and luxurious premium economy seats. The response from passengers was overwhelming, people were thrilled to see the A380 return. Other airlines quickly followed. British Airways reactivated its A380 fleet to serve routes to Los Angeles, Miami, and Johannesburg. Singapore Airlines resumed A380 operations between major hubs like London, Sydney, and Tokyo. 
Even Lufthansa, which had earlier retired the jet, brought several back to meet capacity demands. By 2025, the skies are once again filled with the sight of the A380, gleaming under the sun as it soars between continents. Its return isn't just about nostalgia, it's about practicality and passion. As airports like Heathrow, JFK and Dubai face increasing congestion, flying larger planes helps airlines move more people with fewer takeoffs and landings. This not only saves time and reduces emissions per seat but also helps manage limited airport slots more effectively. In a world where air travel is booming and new aircraft production faces delays, the A380 has become the perfect answer. But the comeback isn't purely operational, it's emotional, too. There's something about the A380 that captures the imagination like no other aircraft. The sense of scale, the comfort, and the quiet elegance of flight make passengers fall in love with flying again. Stepping inside the A380 feels different, you notice the spacious aisles, the calm ambience, and the smooth takeoff. Even those sitting in economy feel like they're in a premium cabin. Pilots often describe flying the A380 as handling a gentle giant, powerful yet remarkably stable. For many travelers, flying on an A380 isn't just a trip, it's a bucket list experience. Airlines have taken note of this enduring affection. Emirates, in particular, has invested heavily in keeping its A380 fleet modern and desirable. Their latest cabin upgrades include advanced LED mood lighting, improved air filtration, and next-generation entertainment systems with 4K screens. The airline also introduced a luxurious premium economy section, bridging the gap between business and economy class. British Airways refurbished its A380s with updated lounges and refreshed interiors. Singapore Airlines, famous for its service quality, continues to use the A380 on its most prestigious routes, a symbol of excellence and comfort. While the A380's rebirth might seem purely driven by passenger demand, there's also a deeper reason. The world is facing a shortage of new aircraft. Production delays from both Boeing and Airbus have forced airlines to rely on existing fleets longer than planned. The A380, already built and capable of carrying hundreds of passengers, has become an invaluable asset. For airlines, it's cheaper to refurbish an existing A380 than to wait years for a new wide-body jet to be delivered. In essence, the plane once considered too large is now saving airlines from capacity crises. Technologically, the A380 still stands as a masterpiece. Its wings are engineering marvels, designed to flex upward by several meters during flight to handle aerodynamic loads. Its four engines, either the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP7200, deliver massive thrust while maintaining quiet operation. The aircraft's fly-by-wire system, advanced flight computers, and safety features remain state-of-the-art even by 2025 standards. The A380 was built not just for size, but for grace. Despite weighing over 500 tons at takeoff, it glides into the sky with the smoothness of a much smaller jet. Many people wonder, how does a giant four-engine jet fit into a world obsessed with efficiency and sustainability? Surprisingly, the A380 holds its ground better than expected. When fully loaded, its fuel burn per passenger can rival that of smaller aircraft, especially on high-demand routes. By carrying more people per flight, airlines can reduce the total number of flights, easing congestion and lowering emissions per seat. Combined with the use of sustainable aviation fuels and improved engine management, the A380's environmental footprint in 2025 is significantly smaller than it was a decade ago. Then there's the passenger experience, something that numbers can't measure. People genuinely love flying on this plane. The cabin is quiet, the takeoff smooth, and turbulence feels almost non-existent due to its size and stability. Travelers often say they forget they're in the air. Families, couples, and aviation enthusiasts all feel the same excitement when they step inside an A380. In an era where flying can feel stressful and cramped, the A380 offers a rare sense of calm. It brings back the romance of aviation, something the industry desperately needs. The A380 has also become a favorite among content creators and aviation YouTubers who film their experiences on board. Videos showcasing takeoffs, landings, and luxurious interiors consistently get millions of views. The aircraft has become a social media icon, a star of aviation photography and videography. This renewed interest has indirectly boosted airline marketing, as travelers actively search for routes featuring the A380. For many, it's not just about reaching a destination, it's about experiencing the journey itself. As 2025 unfolds, the A380 continues to make headlines. Airbus may have stopped building new ones, but its existing fleet is getting a second life. 
maintenance and support from Airbus remain strong, ensuring the aircraft can continue to fly safely for many more years. Some aviation experts even speculate about the possibility of a future A380neo, a next-generation version with improved engines and lighter materials. While that's still just a dream, it reflects the renewed belief that there's still a place in the skies for giants. The story of the A380's comeback also symbolizes a larger truth about aviation, that passion often defies prediction. In an industry driven by efficiency, data, and cost-cutting, the A380 reminds us that flying is also about wonder. It's about the thrill of seeing something extraordinary soar into the sky. It's about the human desire to build, to innovate, and to connect on a grand scale. The A380 may not be the most economical aircraft ever built, but it's arguably one of the most inspiring. And now, as the A380 cruises once again across the world's busiest routes, it carries not just passengers but a message, that no dream is too big, no ambition too bold. From the engineers who designed it, to the pilots who fly it, to the millions who gaze at it from airport windows, the A380 represents what happens when humanity dares to push boundaries. It reminds us that even in a world obsessed with smaller and faster, there will always be room for something truly grand. So the next time you look up and see that unmistakable double-deck giant gliding through the clouds, remember this, you're witnessing a legend reborn. The Airbus A380, once written off as a mistake, has proven that greatness never truly fades. It simply waits for the right moment to return. And as it continues to fly through 2025 and beyond, it stands as a tribute to everything that makes aviation magical, innovation, resilience, and the eternal human dream of touching the sky. If you enjoyed this journey through the skies, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Airborne Atlas, and share this video with fellow aviation lovers. Because in every flight, every roar of the engines, and every sunrise above the clouds, there's a story waiting to be told, and this one, the comeback of the Airbus A380, is one the world will never forget.